we talk about pi over 4 phase shift QPSK, which is a modification of the normal QPSK. It actually a compromise between the advantages of QPSK and the those of OQPSK. What we noticed is that uh, with OQPSK, we have twice the number of transitions. And with QPSK, there are huge, there is huge phase transitions. So the number, the, uh, the magnitude here, not magnitude, the magnitude of phase is huge with OQPSK, whereas here the number of, of transitions is uh, twice as much. Therefore, there is some disadvantages on both of them. I think the advantages we have uh, discussed up here, that one of the things is that uh, the OQPSK is caps the, the, the phase variation by maximum of 90 degrees, whereas that of QPSK is capped at 180 degrees. So the two advantages of that is that uh, OQPSK is better at that point. But however, we have seen the disadvantages is that the phase transition still remain for OQPSK. And number two, the output phase is twice as much. So we have seen that the number of phase transitions are twice as much and therefore the minimum bandwidth for QP for OQPSK is actually twice that of uh, QPSK. So to mitigate or to go around these uh, disadvantages, we come up with a modified version of QPSK that we now refer to as the pi over 4 phase shifted QPSK. And as you can see is a compromise between QPSK and OQPSK in terms of the allowed phase transitions. So like in OQPSK, the carrier phase does not undergo the 180. With the pi over 4 QPSK, we are, can express it as this equation, in which case we say that uh, the each symbol may each symbol i may be represented by a cos function that has its phase shifted phi i and the phi is can be expressed as follows 2 pi over m where m is the number of symbols and i times i minus 1 plus a constant now with the qpsk this constant is 0 with the qpsk this constant is 0 but uh, with the pi over 4 we shifted QPSK, this constant is uh, pi over 4. So if you are to evaluate each symbol, symbol, symbol 0 or symbol i is equals to 1, which would be the first symbol, when we evaluate this equation, or which is uh, in this case m will become 4, and i is 1, 1 minus 1 becomes 0, and therefore this will be for QPSK, this becomes zero because uh, pi over two times zero is zero. But now for pi over four shifted QPSK, when you add, the constant is 45 degrees or pi over four. So when you add uh, the 45 degrees to the to the zero, you get a 45 degrees phase shift. And therefore the first table will be represented by change in phase of the Courier by 45 degrees. And the second table, will be represented by uh, 90 degrees plus 45 becomes 135 degrees and uh, therefore the second symbol will be represented by this phase shift and similarly the other so 45 plus 180 and 45 plus 270 these are the, the values that i had written here in blue represent the, the conversion of qpsk how we evaluate for qpsk which is simply uh, pi over 2, because the constant is 0, we do not add anything, you get 0, 90, 180, 270. But uh, for the pi over 4 shift, uh, shifted QPSK, you can clearly see that we are adding this 45 degrees uh, to every of the symbols. Therefore, the phase shift changes by 45 degrees. So mathematically, we can express each symbol as we have already done. And uh, suppose the first table, 0, 0 is going to be having 5 over 4. 
the second table is going to be having the raised power over 4. The sec third table uh, is equivalently minus pi over 4. And finally, the last one to be minus 3 pi over 4. And this again can be seen in uh, table 9, 5. The angles and in terms of radians and degrees is expressed as such. And we may also now need to find out what is unique about the pi over 4 QPSK as compared to BPSK or QPSK. What we will see is that uh, the in BPSK or QPSK, the data stream is encoded in absolute positions. When we represent the phase of BPSK, we ask ourselves if it is zero, we represent it with zero degrees phase shift. If it is one, we represent it with 180 degrees phase shift and vice versa. But with the pi over four shifted QPSK, what we have seen is that we are adding a relative phase of 45 degrees and therefore, we do not uh, necessarily say that uh, each angle is going to be represented by absolute value, but rather a relative change in the amplitude or direction of the phase shift will represent a change in the symbol. And therefore, the data stream is uh, equivalently represented. One of the facts to know is that uh, pi over 4 QPSK is a very important digital moderation scheme that is used by North American TDMA schedule system, PCS, uh, as we have seen in uh, wireless communication, and the Japan Digital Cellular Standards. They uh, definitely use this one because of the advantages that we have seen of a reduced number of uh, fish shift in transitions, and uh, that, that is a very, very important. In comparison to the absolute shift that we saw in the QPSK, makes it very good because it is very unlikely that you will miss a transition or detecting a transition. In comparison between OQPSK, QPSK, and pi over 4 QPSK is that there is, as we have already seen, one of the biggest disadvantages of QPSK is the biggest shift in phase, that of 180 degrees when you're moving from one stable to another, and that is an advantage. And we saw that one of the advantages of OQPSK is to reduce that phase change of, uh, of 180 to 90 degrees. And now a more moderate version of QPSK is pi over 4 QPSK that has a maximum value of 135 degrees. And therefore, the amplitude variations of the carrier phase uh, of the carrier are uh, phase changes is large definitely for QPSK, very small uh, for the OQPSK and moderate or medium for uh, for pi over four QPSK. And we ask ourselves can we have a simultaneous change of phase uh, of in phase and quadrature phase or even base and odd base at the same time? Yes, we see that can happen. We saw that in in this diagram, you can have this change happening this for the odd and for the even. They are happening at the same time, and that is the one that causes a very big change in phase shift for QPSK. But we saw that for the, but we have seen that for the OQPSK, the two bit streams or in phase and quadrature components cannot happen. The change in, in these two cannot happen at the same time. We have also seen that that is the same with the pi over 4 QPSK. We have seen that there is no offset for the normal QPSK and uh, the OQPSK has a delay of uh, TB seconds. If you remember in that diagram, we said that uh, the, the quadrature component of the QPSK bit stream is delayed by one one TB, and that is the one that allows us to avoid the simultaneous uh, changes in uh, phase of both in phase and quadrature. What we may not have discussed is this component that, uh, and we might have, it should have been important that we demonstrate that. There is a delay of TB seconds of the quadrature component. Instead of delaying it with 1 TB, you delay it with TB over 2. So the delay that is caused by 
the pi over 4 phase shifted QPSK is uh, pi over 4. So I will show you that. In this diagram, uh, the odd bits form the in phase component and they are not delayed, but the quadrature component formed by the even bits is delayed by pi over 4. And for that reason, you will have to, to experience um, only a delay of TB divided by 2. And for that reason, that causes the number of shifts that are happening to appear uh, after delay of TB over 2. So we also noticed that uh, the preferred method of demodulation for QPSK is coherent, similar to the OQPSK but the pi over 4 QPSK may use either coherent or non-coherent. The minimum bandwidth for the three versions of QPSK is the same, which is equivalent to a bit rate. And the stable duration for the three again is the same, 2TB, and the complexity of the design, receiver design is quite high in QPSK and OQPSK, but uh, for the non-coherent case, of uh, pi over 4 QPSK, it's uh, not as complex as the other two.